What up, YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about your blessing is connected when you follow the Most High's will for your life. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you will not get blessed if you keep doing the same thing. So basically, it's like this. You keep hanging around bozos. You keep doing things that are destructive. You know what I'm saying? You keep on... Uh, not following God's will, as in you see the signs in your face, but you keep ignoring them, you will never get blessed. Everything will continue to spiral down. You know what I'm saying? It's just like being in a hostile environment, and you can clearly see it's a hostile environment, but you continue to be in that environment. You will never get blessed. You get what I'm saying? And, um, see, some people, they can't see. Not saying that they physically blind, but some people really can't see that the environment they're in is bringing them down. They probably think it's just them. You see what I'm saying? But their discernment is so out of whack that they just think that it's just them. But really, it's the people around them and the environment that's bringing them down. So as you, so when you continue to not follow God's will for your life, you will never get blessed. You get what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, once you do wake up and smell the coffee, and you follow God's will for your life, you will get blessed extremely because your blessing is connected to when you follow God's will for your life. Now, a lot of people will be asking me some crazy, some crazy questions. Uh, what is my will for my life? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm just giving you the message. You have to determine what God's will for your life is. I can't tell you that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know what God's will for my life is. You see what I'm saying? So I have to continue without my own journey. I'm just giving you the message to help you. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you, oh, this is what it is. I don't know. You have to figure that out yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. But the thing about it is, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to be saved. And I'm not trying to save the world. Let's just get that clear. I'm not a prophet, none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a messenger. You know what I'm saying? The Most High speaks through me to speak to you. Whoever get the message, they get it. You know what I'm saying? Run with it. Learn from it. You know what I'm saying? If you think it's BS, go to Disney Channel, just like I said. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, it's like this. When you continue to, like I say, hang around bozos, you in a bad environment, you know it's bringing you down, and you know that you differ from all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because certain things lead to certain things. That's why a lot of people, they don't know what happened to a person to make a person a certain way. That's why you're never supposed to judge nobody. Like, it was this movie Tupac played in. I forgot the name. It's not Poetic Justice. It's not Above the Rim. It's this other movie. I seen it a couple months ago, like four months ago, four, five months ago. And it was like he was a dirty cop. Him and his white dude, they was a dirty, they was dirty cops. And they was killing niggas, taking their money, taking the cocaine and shit like that, you know. Crooked cop shit, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and the movie Tupac Life was so fucked up that he ended up killing himself at the end of the movie. But the thing about that movie is, it's like this. Tupac knew that the shit he was doing was wrong. He wanted to get out of it, right? But he was so deep into the BS that he ended up committing suicide because it was too late for him to follow uh, God's will for his life. So he just killed himself. Now, if Tupac in that movie, if he would have, you know what I'm saying, not hung around the people he was hanging around, and, you know, not doing the cricket shit, you know what I'm saying, he would have got out of that. But the thing about this, what I'm trying to say about that movie is, like I say, you don't know what happened to a person to make a person a certain way. It was, okay, Tupac and them killed this dude, took his money. Come to find out, dude was an undercover cop. They was undercover cops, but they didn't know dude was an undercover cop. So they was trying to hide that body. They was trying to, they was trying to arrest anybody to put for that body, you know what I'm saying? To let somebody take the fall for what they did. So it was this homeless man on the street. Uh, he was a bum or whatever. Or that's what they say. He was a bum. So they tried to. He was a drunk. So they tried to uh, pin him for the murder. And as he was in jail, sitting in jail, you know, when you sitting in jail, you can't drink. You know what I'm saying? You can't smoke none of that type of shit unless you plugged or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But uh, so as his skin started to clear up and his pores started to clear up and the alcohol started to get on his system, motherfuckers start recognizing. They say, hold on, this not no bum. This dude is a brain surgeon. He is a billionaire. Now, that's why I say you can't judge a book by his cover because the dude, he wasn't a bum. His family got killed in a car accident seven years before that incident when they was trying to arrest him for that murder. His family got killed in front of his face. 
know what I'm saying, a car accident, and that fucked this man up so bad that he started drinking. You know what I'm saying? You can't judge a book by its cover. Oh, he's a bum. You never know. That's not a bum. You don't know who that is. You don't know what happened to that person to make them do what they do. That's what I'm trying to explain about that movie. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the name of that movie called, but just, you know what I'm saying, go to Netflix, or if you got Xfinity, type in Tupac. All his movies will pop up. But the thing about it, what I'm trying to say is your blessing is connected to when you follow God's will for your life. Real talk. Your will for uh, God's will for your life could be anything. It could be waking people up, spreading the message. It could be finding yourself. It could be loving yourself. It could be, uh, it could be you, like, you know what I'm saying, moving out of state. It could be you, you know what I'm saying, trying to better yourself. It could be anything. I can't tell you what God's will for your life is. You have to figure that out on yourself. That's something you have to talk to God about, the Most High, Jah, Allah, Buddha, whatever you believe in. The entity that represents the light. Different name, same entity. See what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Just the inspirational message. You can wake up, you know what I'm saying? That way.